Well, decided to stop at the bank and grab a box of dimes, a box of pennies, and another box of pennies. See what may turn up for me this time. Try these. I just really didn't feel like doing any dirt digging or jumping in the water today. I think doing that driveway last Friday has finally caught up with me. But I'll let you know what I get. Well, I got, finally got through the two boxes of pennies. About four, four and a half hours, I'd say. But there's the wheat pennies and a couple King Georges out of the first one, and then some oddball newer Lincoln cents. So I got some out of the first box and the second box. More wheat pennies, one King George, and a couple of 67 Centennial, I think, Canadian pennies. But I still have the quarters or the dimes to go through. So I'll go through those here shortly. But I haven't gone through the dates on any of the um, King George's or any of the other wheat pennies yet, but I'll let you know. Well, the dimes are open, and I don't know if that's silver or not right there. I can't tell from the sides. I have a hard time with my different shades with my color blindness, but I'll go through them and see what we get. This ought to be fun. This is fun coin roll hunting. Well, this is how far I made it through the dime so far. And I finally got one silver. It's a 64 rosy. Woo. But I'll take it. One's better than none. I'll get back with you if I can get anything else. Well, it took about seven and a half hours altogether to go through all the dimes and the pennies. The one box of dimes and the two boxes of pennies. But I ended up with 24 wheat pennies, oldest was a 43. I did get two silver dimes out of 250 bucks worth of dimes. Unbelievable. But I'll take it. Any silver is good silver, even if they're both 64s. I'm a happy camper. And then three King Georges out of the pennies. The oldest one is a 37. Then those two Centennial, I think, Canadian pennies. And some of the newer Lincolns, different designs that they had. And I did get one penny in with the dimes that the edges are gone, and it's about the size of a dime. Check that out. So that one snuck through in there. But yeah, that kind of surprised me. Yeah, I'll take two silvers and 24 wheats for the time spent goofing off. But yeah, I think I'm going to stick with halves, though, or the pennies. My eyes are bugging out from looking at all those dimes. That's a lot to look at, especially for me, when I can't really tell from the sides. So... Anyway, happy hunting, everybody. Get back with you when I can.